I feel your pain with only one diagnosis code. You're relying on clinicians to speak to this. And is there a generalized agreement? Do all payers and all providers follow common criteria for SPMS diagnosis? Help her out. Well, I'd like to start actually by understanding, trying to understand what are the criteria. Is there consensus? Because well, that's what payers, I was going for. That's right. usually what. It's, it's, it's very interesting. No, there is no absolutely agreed on consensus for SPMS. A global MS-based registry uh, reported in a recent article, they looked at several dozen different definitions for secondary progressive MS, and they came up with what they felt was the most reliable. It will never be used in the United States. It was EDSS-based, and most people in the U.S. don't use the EDSS in their MS cohort. I think you're, you're, you're looking at a relapsing patient where you have documented gradual worsening independent of clinical attacks going on for at least six months, probably at the right age where you know they are at risk, and an astute patient will realize they're entering secondary progressive stage before the physician can pick it up, they in feel my it. experience. They can tell. They know it because they're slowly losing function. It's a gradual thing. How what? long? I'm so glad. Yeah, one of the important things is very often in the evaluation of MS patients, our examinations or what's reported is qualitative. So the patient is evaluated. The strength looks about right. The gait looks about right. We do not do a lot of quantitative assessment. The 25-foot walk at every visit, uh, six-minute walk, I mean, obviously that's not possible from a time point of view. So the quantification of the, of the tests. And with that, uh, secondary progressive MS becomes very much an opinion piece. This looks like, because we don't have the underlying metrics, but I think the important part is also, and I come back to this, is we don't have a biology at this point. We don't have a biologic marker to say, this is up, therefore you have secondary progressive. This, this is a very good point because there was a recent article from the UC San Francisco database talking about silent progression. What they realized was that the, the deterioration was so subtle, they weren't typically picking it up. And this is because of the lack of quantification. All right, That's so absolutely we, we don't right. have quantification. I mean, this is, this is a quagmire for you. Absolutely. I, I, you have actually made me feel your pain. <laughs> I mean, she's sitting there. That's a unique moment. <laughs> That's a unique moment. <laughs> and we go back a long way. I mean, here's a disease which is terrible, which has all of these acronyms, yeah. all of which have different uh, uh, endpoints, if you will. And you're asking her to help you pay for treatments, and we're going to discuss these treatments, which aren't cheap, but you're not giving her specific biomarkers. You're not giving her specific exam findings. Um, what percent of patients are diagnosed with SPMS anyway? So if you look at the old days before treatment, they talked about 50% of relapsing patients within 10 to 15 years became secondary progressive. In the modern era series, that's way down. It's way less than 20%. Okay. Way less than 20%. What is, there's another one that comes up. Active SPMS, non-active SPMS. What the heck is that all about? I'm getting really confused. <laughs> well, Tom had addressed this. Well, you have essentially <laughs> the FDA has given it to you, right? I mean, in terms of to, we used to call active secondary progressors as part of the relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis. Evidence of new MRI lesions, evidence of attacks. That's qualified over, over a defined time frame. Over, That's okay, but is this a distinction without a difference? Is SPMS treated today differently than RRMS? Well, There's a pause. well, so the issue is previously, if the secondary progressive MS patient was considered to have a relapsing form, they qualified for relapsing MS therapies. It's been a little bit controversial, so they would be treated if they had a superimposed clinical attack or contrast lesions or new lesions, et cetera. Mm -hmm. 